everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm The Angry Simmer, and today's video, other than being very clippy right here, is a continuation of yesterday's video. So if you didn't see yesterday's, go back and check it out. I'll link it here above, and uh, you'll see the little white tab and just, you know, a few seconds, maybe longer. Who knows how editing works? Um, but anyways, I just wanted to kind of quickly go through and show you um, in the worst fly through possible what we were working on before, what we did yesterday. So if you'd like to see that decoration, I'll uh, I'll have that in there for you. But now we're gonna get started on the middle and top floors of this gorgeous home built by Cube Designs. I will have linked just like yesterday's video to all of Cube Design. Cube design stuff where you'd want to download this or um, just check out his Tumblr, all those fun things. But once again, I just really enjoyed this. I let me tell you guys, I was zonked today. Um, I had training this morning at 10:30, and both myself and my trainer we got there um, begrudgingly, got into the gym, and we're just like, Ugh. and so we spent like the first five minutes of me being there just absolutely talking about how much we didn't want to work out so that was fun and I was uh, actually filming her today for a uh, special thing that hopefully soon I'll get to tell you about I'm so excited for um, but you're gonna see in this a lot the there's a few spots of uh, me kind of taking my time um, I do apologize for that I thought I got most of it out but there might be some left because like I said I'm, I was tired my brain isn't working as well even after an hour workout that kicked my butt and I did pull-ups today or actually that's like I attempted to do pull-ups today and uh, yeah anyways so we won't talk about that fail but uh, I got home and then hey Harry was doing a stream and I only got to see a little bit of it because you know life happens but um, the parts I did watch were while I was building this so I apologize I was a bit distracted but I still stuck with the warm theme I still stuck with the antique world traveler feel and these two bedrooms here on the uh, main uh, I guess living quarters you would call it or I guess uh, I don't know the guest room the guest floor let's call it that I kind of wanted it to feel a little bit masculine and feminine almost even though I'm I've stuck with this really masculine feel of the rich woods and things like that or I guess this isn't technically masculine but just traditional warmth you know um, I these walls make me think of the Titanic and um, how people lived in times like that so you know all these fun things but and you'll see in the other bedroom since I went with the plaid it, it 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 naturally seems a little bit more masculine and it's less decorated and you know it doesn't have the candles around the bathtub like this one but um, normally I would put in in these spaces like a big walk-in shower sort of situation and um, very high-end bathtub but I kind of felt like part of the attraction to this home would be that it was so original like the flooring and the um, walls and things like that have been maintained for so long so um, I kind of felt like I wanted to stick with the the clawfoot tubs you know and just have that beautiful old world feel to these you know um, a funny story there was a house right across from mine growing up and it was a house my grandparents wanted to buy but it wasn't on sale whenever they switched from the lake house to just being in town and um, eventually did go up for sale and a new family moved in and you know they ended up having a son a little bit younger than me and I babysat him for a while and so one day I went into this home and it's this big gorgeous Victorian and they only bought it for like a hundred grand and I know look that that's still a lot of money but this house was enormous and gorgeous and steeped in history and it was just uh, it was depressing to know that that's all someone thought that that was worth because to me it's priceless but anyways um, but so I went into the house and they had like restored the ceiling so they had these incredible tray ceilings and they kept all the original like marble and uh, hardwood and things like that and they you know they did the things you're supposed to polish the woods and um, and then I got to go into the bathroom one time and I know it's so weird to say I got to go into the bathroom but um, the powder room off of like the hallway to the kitchen was the like most original space in the house and when I went in there and saw that bathtub and 
just how grand it was. I guess it's technically not a powder room if there's a bathtub in there, but it was just amazing to see a clawfoot tub in real life. Like I was, I had struggles here because roof elevations, Maxis, could you fix that please? Sorry, a little angry simmer coming through there. But um, yeah, so I, I went into this, into this bathroom and was just like, oh my gosh. And I, you know, I was, nine years old probably and it just hit me with how stunning this was and I was like this is the kind of home I want to live in when I grow up this is the home I'm buying I'm gonna buy this house from them because it was it was an incredible house it was uh three bedroom two on the main floor and then one upstairs that was like a whole like just like this one the whole upstairs was a room and she it was the grandmother that lived up there and she had this incredible like walk-in closet that had peaked um, roofs on it because it was in, you know, it was in the attic and, um, just crazy cool house. And the kitchen was enormous. Like you don't typically see these huge working kitchens that, you know, they, they had, I'm prob I'm sure they probably had like, well, no, this, that house was built around the time that, um, instead of having staff, especially cause it's, it was in Kentucky, um, you would have staff that cooked in your house, but there wasn't the separation of like, with um, like the tutors and things like that where the kitchen would be a separate portion of a separate building it wouldn't all be together um, but in this room I should mention because we are in the master bedroom <laughs> who this one moved fast um, I wanted this one to kind of feel like a blend of the old furniture that would have been left from the Sims aunt which by the way if you haven't heard that story because you haven't seen the uh, other video go check it out um, link will be in the description box and also you know on my page but anyways um and then i wanted it to kind of feel like she brought like her own textiles and things in so like that's her mirror over the fireplace and this is her favorite comforter and her and all of her carpets from her apartment like all all of the apartment's carpets are in this one room and so everything else in my mind is you know things that her aunt left for her um so that room is the only one I almost, almost put grays and blues and things like that in there. But I decided this person was a warm tone kind of gal as well. Um, I will say this backyard did not turn out the way I wanted it to. This little thing here did. This looked exactly how I pictured it. Um, but everything else in the backyard was kind of a bust to me. And I almost cut it, the footage out because it just... I have these grand ideas for pools in my head and it just never comes together. So I need to like go watch Hey Harry's streams or uh, rewatch some of her videos so that I can kind of uh, go back over what I should be doing to make a proper backyard because I'm just failing hard, real hard at this. And you'll see. So Cube, I apologize. I did not do you justice with this backyard, but the inside I'm really happy with and I'm, uh, that I was so inspired by this build and I'm so happy with the way that the furnishing turned out and how um, I finally got to use that particular wallpaper that I've been wanting to use so badly. So thank you. you you're a wonderful, wonderful person for asking me to decorate this home for you and I'm so honored. I just, I'm going crazy with excitement. I know it doesn't sound like it because I'm exhausted, but <laughs> I am just through the roof happiness right now. So, um, but I kind of wanted the backyard to feel a little bit overgrown. So I did put in, um, some of these, uh, little grasses and things like that. Here's me thinking about this and making that decision for it to be overgrown. Um, just a little bit, not as bad as like I did the backyard for uh, my laundry day stuff build. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I apologize for that again, Tony. I'm really sorry I made your mowing <laughs> senses tingle. But I kind of wanted it to feel a little bit like back here, there was just, with the transition from her aunt to her, I wanted there to feel like no one was caring for the house as much. Um, but I didn't want to put like the cobwebs and stuff inside. So I guess technically it's more like the gardener wasn't there. Like the maids and the housekeepers kept coming because they're, you know, usually there. But the gardener, like maybe it was time for their yearly maintenance meeting to decide what they wanted to do. So I just added in all of this overgrownness to make it look a little bit crazier, I guess. Anyway, so we go into this and after I finish 
you know, throwing some more color and plants and things like that in there because I downloaded these awesome plants. Thank you, Cube, because that was your fault too. Um, <laughs> I just kind of move on to showing you guys what I did all together and um, kind of a recap and then we do screenshots. So I know we kind of did a little bit of a uh, fly through at the beginning, but now you get to see me once again looking back here and being like, oh, I failed at the backyard. So maybe I'll see what Harry has to say about making it better. I'll just, I'll just send her a quick message and be like, hey, I failed. Help me fix it. <laughs> and if she has any time, hopefully she'll help. But she's a busy lady. So she might not have any extra time for my building because, you know, she's got a real life and a real job and I'm just a housewife that likes to play with the Sims. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.